Hello guys and welcome to Matt David Zamolata. In today's video, we're going to be replacing the Chrysler 300 accelerator pedal. This is like uh, the throttle, you know, accelerator. Also, we're going to be learning why would you actually need to replace this in the first place. So that means we're going to be diagnosing the problem altogether. Well, before you actually get to this, you're probably wondering if this problem that is actually going on that I have in this video has to do with your vehicle. This actually can happen with any vehicle. It just so happens that I'm actually having this issue on my Chrysler 300. Now, here's what's what you're going to notice uh, first. Basically, let's say you're, you're in park, you just started your vehicle up, and you get ready to back up or something, right? And you're like in reverse. Well, you're going to realize you're pressing your brake down and for some reason your tires are spinning. You're like thinking like, why are they spinning? You know, if I'm like on the brake, that's this is weird. And then you're gonna now, you know, get back into drive and you drive forward a little bit and then you're pushing brakes and then this, you know, the tires are still spinning in the back because it's pretty light. And you know, until you go into park and then it's good. You may even see on your dash, um, like a red lightning thunder, it's going to, uh, flash on a on your dashboard but when you turn your vehicle off you start it back up again problem disappears until next time you try to put it into drive or reverse or what have you now this can be extremely dangerous if you don't replace this because imagine if you or your wife or maybe your you know teenage kids they get in a car and they don't know what to do because they would leave it and drive and they think they're coasting but guess what the car is not going to slow down it's just going to keep going you know and going and going until you know if you have good brakes and you press brakes you will slow down until you let the brakes go again the car will continue driving fast really really fast so here's actually what happens i basically removed this um gas pedal and i will actually show you how to remove it and how to install it but guess what this is the little distance um where you actually press it pressing it in so look at that i pressed it in i'm not holding it and look it's standing right there if i slightly remove it look it just basically keeps doing it so in order to actually stop the car from moving anywhere you would actually need to uh, reach with your shoe underneath the pedal and actually push the pedal back up this is the only way to uh, fix that problem uh, in a pinch if you're like on the highway and you're driving and you don't really know what to do maybe you actually need to go somewhere you're gonna need to do this all the time you need to Press the gas pedal, but when you're coasting, you know, put your foot underneath and put it, you know, like back like that. Um, in order to solve this issue, you obviously need to replace it. Now, to replace it, it's pretty much uh, straightforward. You only got three bolts that's holding it. And you have electrical connector that plugs in over here. And there's another one that you need to plug in. It's like a little white one underneath. Um, now... Upon trying to unplug this, be very careful. It is kind of difficult to unplug this a little bit, but you could, you know, pry it with some kind of like a plastic tool and then it's going to actually come apart. I actually, I cut my finger doing this pretty deeply uh, because I had this thing gripped and then something that's actually, you know, because things are pretty close over there. I got cut on something just, just with the fact that I just got my hands really solid on there trying to pull it up and then my finger you know got cut on something so be careful with that um now i wonder what actually has happened and i believe the spring inside if there is one uh that's actually causing this issue to happen um now for me this problem has happened because i had my vehicle just like sitting for a while um and all of a sudden i get inside and i try to move it you know just so the battery won't die and stuff like that and then this happens so i want to talk about the cost of this pedal and the replacement now i've looked at the different pedals uh let's say like on ebay and stuff because chances are if you're watching this video you're trying to do the maintenance yourself and uh you're gonna have a choice whether to buy it at the dealer i don't know what the dealer price is but on ebay i found them for about a hundred dollars or a little over i found some that's a little under but they don't look the same as mine you would have to actually take this part number and punch it in uh, to get the real number. But the 2005 Chrysler 
guest pedal, it's different than 2010. So 2010 is not gonna work. I don't know when they actually changed it, but when I actually look at the pictures and I look at mine, it's, you know, even the connector is different. So that's not gonna work. Um, now I called L LKQ, uh, a local junkyard here um, in Charlotte, and they say it's $25, plus there's a $4 core charge. So I'm actually going to go there tomorrow and remove one so I could actually install it on my, on my vehicle. Uh, because you're removing the parts yourself at the junkyard, the parts are so much cheaper. So that's actually a good option uh, for you to do that. But once somebody has removed it and they put it on eBay, you know, they have to charge for their time and stuff like that. And if they paid for the part, they're gonna have to make some money on that too. So anyways, let me show you where this pedal is located. So the pedal is mounted right here. So you could see this is where it falls into place. Once you pull the screws out, you could actually pull the pedal out. But pull, uh, the pedal out, this is going to be in a way, this little shroud, you're gonna need to take that out. And it's got these uh, plastic little covers here. There's like two of them. Um, and you simply pull them out, like that one kind of stayed. This video not to really bore you with too many details as far as how to remove the pedal it is simply three bolts you've removed them and you've replaced them plus I want this video to help other drivers with other makes and models I'm sure if this happened to me this will happen on other cars because you know these parts are shared now amongst many cars there's a good chance that this same pedal is on a Dodge Charger uh, the same pedal is on a um, Dodge Magnum and uh, probably other Chrysler model models. I could imagine the Sebring probably has it, the Crossfire, and some other mixed models. There's even a chance that a Mercedes E-Class of the same year is going to actually have this same type of pedal and a bunch of other Mercedes because from this era, uh, Daimler, Daimler, Chrysler, and Mercedes, they were actually in pretty good relationship. So Chrysler 300 borrowed a lot of components from the Mercedes, like, the front suspension uh, came from uh, S500. Uh, the rear suspension is E-Class. The seats are completely um, Mercedes uh, electronics in the seats, uh, including the uh, speedometers, the computers, uh, some engines and some transmissions and bunch of bunch of other parts. And also like electronics, like for instance, like the, the radio electronics and the, the climate control, uh, dual zone climate control and that kind of stuff. So yeah they share a lot of these same components. So I'm pretty sure if this pedal fails on this model, it will fail on others. And boy, that's pretty dangerous because this almost like reminds me like back in the day when Audi um, 5000s had the same issue where, you know, you press the accelerator down and the car would not stop. It just, you know, would just go and people would have some accidents. And I'm, so I'm thinking, you know, how many other people are actually having the same issue? And you know, I was kind of like wondering at first, you know, I'm just like changing the pedal over here and stuff. And I'm thinking, should I even make a video about replacing the pedal? But I'm thinking, not necessarily because, you know, everybody knows how to replace the pedal. It's, you know, pretty simple. It's like three bolts. But the main thing I think that everybody wants to know is like, what's going on? Uh, what are the causes? Why is your car doing this? Because you might not even know that your car is accelerating due to the fact that it's your throttle you know gas pedal and stuff so replacing that for 25 bucks is going to solve you a lot of issues because you may think this is something wrong with your computer you might think there's something wrong with your engine you know i had people you know that watch my channel that ask sometimes you know interesting questions like this and the questions need to be asked you know but a lot of times it's very hard to pinpoint exactly where the problem is and this is where i come in you know, I find these issues and I make a video about it and now you know about it and uh, now you could do something about it. You could buy yourself another part. You could know that it is nothing serious. You know, all you have to do is just replace a paddle and you're good to go. You don't need to junk your car. As a matter of fact, uh, this car was sitting for a while because, you know, I still got some paint work to do. I still got to replace the seat belt and stuff like that. So I'm not even going to really make a video about that. But I'm getting this car ready, you know, for myself to be like a daily driver and 
you got a daily driver and this just happened to your gas pedal well now you know how to take care of it so anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video take care of yourself please subscribe to my channel hit a like on the video if you liked it put in the comments below if I uh, you have the same issue uh, or what issue that that you have that are very similar to this problem but it's not the gas pedal so anyways guys take care of yourself god bless you take care of yourself bye bye <laughs> i know i say that too many times my name is serge zamaletta i'm 37 years old and yes i experienced success after buying my first home for cash back in 2011 i was broke but i learned to solve problems on my own now i'm helping others to solve their problems i know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business need motivation to be more successful in your life do you have sprinter expedite or business problems then subscribe let's find creative solutions to your problems hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos